This doesn't look strong to me. This looks like a, like, if I saw this bridge, I would not walk over Lynn Valley Canyon. I would be like, this thing's about to collapse. If I saw a bridge arch up, I would be like, no problem. By the way, I, I think I recently discovered that I'm scared of heights. I had to walk over one of the bridges in Vancouver to get back from downtown. And I was like, I, I've done it before and no big deal. But I was walking over one of the bridges. They're probably like 500 meters long or something like that. Like they're pretty long. And I was getting the, like, I was not comfortable being up on the bridge. Like there were railings on the side of me. And like people were just talking, having a conversation like on their phone and stuff like that. I was looking at my phone for like a minute. I had to put it away. Cause I was like, I just feel like my hands are gonna like get possessed and be like, Ugh! I'm gonna drop it out uh, down into False Creek or something like that. Like I had to, I had to put it in my pocket and just like focus on moving straight ahead. And e also every time that like someone passed me, I was very uniquely aware of the fact that they could, like a big person could just pick me up and toss me over the side of the bridge. Though I had no reason to believe that they would, but, and I guess at any point someone could just like kill you in a lot of situations, but like, I don't know, the bridge got me, got me primed for it. Let's just put it that way. How do you feel walking across Capilano? I don't go to the Capilano Suspension Bridge, but I'll tell you, I did go to Lynn Canyon, also known as the Free Capilano Suspension Bridge. And like me and my dad were hugging the ropes on the side of the bridge the whole time. And then Kate was like, let's take a selfie. Like every, she took out her phone and was like, everybody take a selfie. Uh, and I was like, I don't want it to like, take the selfie as soon as possible. She's like holding her phone over the edge of the bridge. And I'm like, take the photo, take the photo. <laughs> that was my mom. Oh yeah, that sounds right. But then I can handle like a gondola. Like I used to not like the part of skiing or snowboarding where you go up in the ski lift. I st I'd say I still don't really love the chair, but in the gondola, you're a little bit more insulated, so I don't mind. But uh, the people who are on the chair and they get like, and this is a recycled bit, so I apologize, but the people who don't put the bar down on the chair, bro. And they're like, why would I even put the bar down? I'm like, so you don't, you're not like, just raw dog in your own death or at least like broken ankles or something like that like i get that the bar is like super it's not gonna stop you in a lot in every situation but still i do be telling him to stop being up stop being up meow yeah but like i need the i need the bar otherwise i just wouldn't go snowboarding because i gotta put the bar down i don't even like the part when you get to like with the bar down I don't like when you get to the top and there's like 20 feet where you put the bar up and then you're just raw dog in the air again. But you gotta do it because otherwise if it takes you more than half a second to get off the ski chair, some 45 year old dude who's never had a real job is gonna be like, get off the lift, get off the lift, man, get off the lift. If you ever take more than an eighth of a second clearing the lift, come on, man. Bro, you're born in the 1970s. You gotta have a little bit more patience, okay?